Hey, you guys, this is Nisi P of Nisi P Entertainment. I told you I've been on the roll this month. I have talked to some amazing people. And so tonight we are talking to Eric Smith Jr. Now, Eric was an extra in the movie The Box. Y'all know Queenie. I talked to her, Shatifa Carter. We talked to her about the movie Box. Um, I can't wait till her next movie comes out. I'm really excited about that. So, so Eric, how are you today? I'm doing. You good? Yeah, I'm doing real well today. Yay. Yeah, I'm real good. I'm okay. good to see you. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so you were in the box and you played, there was an extra that you did in the box, right? Oh, uh, yeah. My sister shot the box. You know, that's my sister. So I just basically I, wanted to help her out. Anything she wanted me to do. Yeah, you know, anything, yeah. loving brother. So I just wanted to help her. Mm. She, she, she had nothing but really, really good things to say about you guys, you and your other brother, because, you know, a lot of times you can't always work with family because everyone's mm. got their own opinion, but she had some awesome things to say about you guys. So oh. I congratulate all of you on working. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was really yeah. cool. She, she's really awesome. That's crazy you saying all this. She's making <laughs> dreams come true with all this. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. She's on a roll. She's on a roll. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. Eric, tell me what it was like um, working on the boxes film. Oh, it was very fun. You know, I shot the part where we was in Miami. It was very fun. Okay. Very fun in Miami. The weather was amazing. Uh, we was at like a mansion. I think the Island Boys was there like a day or two before. That was cool. Mary J. Blige was there too. So yeah, that was oh. cool. She wasn't at the set. She wasn't at the set. But okay. she was there at that mansion before. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, so it so the scene, if you guys seen the movie, uh -huh. the scene where I'm at. The okay. mansion part, yeah, that's that's where they were shooting music videos at. Oh, if if you guys have not seen the uh, movie The Box, go to Tubi. Mm. It's on box. Amazon Prime too. We see and Blaze TV the app too. We just going up and up and up. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it on Tubi. I done, gotcha. I've, I've seen it twice. Gotcha. I watched it twice. Um. And so I, it was really interesting um, because it was like, it, it's in your mind, you know, you got to think mm -hmm. about things that's going on in your mind that you really want to do. Yeah, <laughs> and, of course. Yeah, so it, 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 it's amazing. It is a mind grabber. And at the end of the movie, which I'm not going to tell y'all the end, you got to go look at the movie yourself and look mm -hmm. for Eric. Um, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's a great movie. It, it's got a twist at the end, and you go, "Oh my god!" You know, so um, yeah, it's more of like a drama fantasy. It's yeah. it's a smoker movie though. If you like smoking weed too, honestly, but it's more like a drama <laughs> fantasy movie, honestly, in a way. Very creative. So, are are you going to be in any more of your sister's movies, or are you going to do something on of your course. own? Of course. Of course, that's crazy you say this. Of course, anything she called me right now. She said, You want to be in the scene? Of course, I'm there. Anything. anything. That's it. So, do you have any aspirations about doing things for you? I mean, are, uh, are you going to do a movie? Oh, that's crazy you say that. I actually have a book out right now. It's called Weirdest 24 Hours, if y'all care or if y'all can see it. I'm sure it's to you. It's the Weirdest 24 Hours, though. They can Google it. It's okay. Just type in Weirdest 24 Hours. It'll pop right. We're just 24 hours. It'll be Eric Smith. Told me that. I think I saw. Yeah, it. remember I told. Yeah. yeah, it's in Barnes and Noble, Walmart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what what is the book? Yeah, about? it's a very good story. What is it about? Uh, basically, this guy wake. Basically, this guy wakes up, and his all his rent money is gone. Like I guess it was a wild party before, so okay. somebody stole his rent money. So his landlord's gonna threaten to kick him out, basically, in a way he have his rent money. So these other people he randomly meet around the way have this brave idea to rob the cartel. And you know the cartel don't play. So it leaves a wild, wild story. But at the end, he uh -huh. meets a familiar face, though, which makes it a like a weird 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, but that's the whole gist of it. Basically, at the end, he, he sees a familiar face. But it's weird because he hasn't seen this face in a minute. Oh, well, through the whole book, like from the beginning almost to the end, he hasn't seen this familiar. Mm, yep, yep, you haven't seen his oh. familiar face. But 
Yeah. Once he see a film, once he sees the familiar face at the end, mm-hmm. it's gonna be crazy because he's gonna wonder like he went through all these like events which led him to this exact spot. Wow. You you guys are hey these mind things I I love it it keeps it interesting and and you want to wait and find out what the end of it is you know mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. that I like that always I always a little twist to it I look I seen a little lifetime movies back in my day uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so how long how long did it take you to um write that book uh, not long at all I wrote it probably like a couple of days like a week week or so but really? I didn't publish it till I didn't publish it like till a year later I ain't gonna lie to you I was playing i was just horsing around with life then one day i just thought of my idea i was like you know what because these people randomly called me about some book stuff i I already wrote a book i told them i already wrote one they told me send it in and i sent it to them they said they liked it wow so did you got do you have another book that you're working on now Uh, i do of course it's called life after king life after king so does it have a twist like Yes, it's, it basically deals after Martin Luther King died. It deals with the beginning of classism. And I'm gonna speak it in my way. Okay, mm, that, mm. that's interesting. So, are you still work? Are you still writing it? Or uh, you uh, it's basically halfway done. Basically halfway done. It, if anything, it's gonna come out by the end of this year or the top of next year. Oh, so that's mm. not. I mean, this is like it'll be here before you know it. You know, time yeah, be here for so yeah. Quickly. Say about a fall time, honestly. Okay. Mm-hmm. So again, I'm gonna ask you this question again. Are you gonna do your own movie? I I want to turn these in. It's so crazy you saying this, man. Because I want to turn this into a screenplay, honestly, then turn into a movie. Oh just, just to act just to see how the actors are act on the stage with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, it'll be interesting to me to see it in the acting way on the stage. It'll be funny, I guess. Because my story is humor to it. Okay, so you mm. just really want to see the actors and how they're going to portray your particular mm. story. Yeah, yeah, it, it'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys are so, so creative, man. I mean, you- I, look, I get it from my sister. I get it. She always been creative her whole life. Her whole life, she's been writing, dancing, singing, all type of stuff. Okay, so are your parents really creative as well? Oh, yeah, of course. My mom, dad, uh, they do all type of crazy stuff. See, that's that's you what you uh, de- define that, creative. <laughs> that's, that's where you get that from, that creativity, man. Mm-hmm. That is yeah, so just creative. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Very awesome. Look, God is great. Yes, he is all the time. Um, mm, the time. With, with you working with the production company with Shatifa, um, what are your aspirations and what are your goals? Oh, it's crazy you say that. My goal is actually to have I'm t- well, I'll be 27 in August this year. Okay. So I'll have two books out by this year. So I'll have by 30, I want to have at least 10. Oh. So and after that, honestly, if I can don't get me wrong, I like writing for people. I even write myself. You know, okay. uh, I like SNL. If you ever watch SNL. Mm-hmm. As a kid, I kind of like writing for them in a way. Okay. Like I dream, like maybe my dream job to write for them if I could. But I got to get paid a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it for chump change. Oh, I, I got that. So do you write music? Uh, I used to back in the day. Not no more. Not no more. Yeah, music to me took a way different turn nowadays. I can't get with it. You know, I'm getting older. I can't vibe with these kids no more. <laughs> Yeah. You actually you know, say that you actually you'll be hot all in August 27. And you say these kids, oh my god, that is too yeah, funny yeah. to me. That that is yeah. so funny to me. I, I, yeah, I, I, I <laughs> that is that is just awesome. I love it. I, I do love it. <laughs> so you by the time you're 30, you're gonna have 10 books. Of course, of course. Okay. Huge aspirations for him. And every every one has gonna have his different like my first book mm-hmm. is, is basically seeing his like gonna be like seeing a familiar face at the end. Every book okay. I'm gonna have gonna deal with a topic everybody can relate to in a way. Wow. So the one that you're working on now, the king mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. what gave you the idea to do that one? Oh, it's crazy you even say that. Martin King Martin Luther King is a very powerful man. 
very powerful man yeah and so crazy when he died everything to me did a 360 flip you know i wasn't born to see it back then so i really don't know necessarily i'm just reading okay. books and watching movies but okay. in my opinion once he died classism started and classism it's kind of like racism, but it really don't matter what color you is as long as you got that bottom line, which is the money. Okay. So basically, my story basically is going to be like white and black people working together, but just in an evil way where they get money from everybody. Basically, okay. me telling that story. Okay. In a, in a comedy way, though. Okay. And, and then at the end, it's it's some morals to it at the end, too. It ain't just like some evil stuff. It's just evil because they taking all the money from people. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> that sounds mm. that sounds very interesting. And mm. I I already know that what's the name of the first one? The 24 Weird. Yeah, weirdest 24 hours. Weird. Okay, you you do know that I'm on an autograph copy of that book, right? Oh yeah, I can send you one. That's crazy. You say that send you one all that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right that, I'm adding it on to my autograph collections because uh, be I, I look at it like now by the time you get 30 uh, mm -hmm. with, with with your 10 books i mean you're going to be a number one author if that's the case and and oh that, i appreciate it that my little brother is, is is awesome that, oh yeah I appreciate that's an that. awesome goal that you have for you oh you thank know? you and then you're in movies so are you going to play an extra in shatifa's next movie because i know he's my, working my... on it now if my sister want me just to hold a cup of water for her, I'ma hold a cup of water. For her. <laughs> that's my that's my sister. I love her so much. It's are like you, she, you she changed a lot of people's parts? lives with it. you. Say what, ma'am? Are you gonna have some speaking parts in there, or you just like be uh, extra? Don't, don't don't get me wrong. I love to act, but that's not my cup of forte. It, it's just okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't get me wrong. It's so crazy. Okay. I even learn it. I go to class for it and all that. But that's okay. not my forte. Like I didn't. I really never grew up with the passion to act. I always love movies, though. Okay. I so, what's movies. your favorite movie that you can of see all, right off the top of your head? Uh, probably The Warriors. If you ever seen that. No, I don't think so. I'm not a big movie person. I'm a uh, big music person. Oh, uh, so, okay. Uh, what's What's your favorite song? I say my favorite song. Oh, I, I have I I have so many favorites. I can't even narrow them down. I mean, I like um, for jazz. I'm I'm a Will Downing fan, um, mm. and I like old school music like the OJ's and and oh, Dennis Coffee and uh, the Temptations and Smokey Robinson and Miracles. That's what you know about Temptations. What you know about Temptation? Oh, please! Look, oh, look! David had the voice of an angel. He just couldn't. He just couldn't control himself. Yeah. He had the yeah. He had the voice yeah. of an angel. Yeah, David Ruffin was the truth. Yeah, he was. He really was. Mm -hmm. you know? But you know what? I I appreciate you taking the time to um, talk to me. I, I look forward on your new endeavors that you're going to be working on. I appreciate you. And you too. Like, I love this interview you've been doing for me. This is very special. Nobody really has interviewed me before. And it's so crazy you did it. So I'm going to remember this. I mean, you guys, like I said, I watched The Box twice. And mm. I thought, I'm the type of person when I do watch a movie, I kind of pick it apart. Mm -hmm. Um it, it, and it's not something I intentionally do, but I see things and I'm like, mm, that don't make any sense. Or the editor missed this part, you know, but with the box, mm. I, I um, the characters, I enjoyed the characters because they were so into what they were doing and they were mm. so um, adamant about getting their point across as to where they were in their head. And I just thought that was really cool. So uh, I, I wanted to talk to all of you guys because I wanted to get everybody has a different um, perspective as uh, a part of the movie. So it was really cool to, you know, talk to you guys and, and just to see what your perspective was, what's the movie. So it's really cool that you just interested. I kid you not. It's yeah. so crazy growing up. I seen my sister do all of this. It's crazy. It's paying off in a way. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's how life, that's God, that's why God is great. It yeah. showed me from an early age to seeing right now. It's like, if you put your dreams into stuff and just like put the work into it. Yep. Yeah. 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 You are absolutely right. 
Well, mm -hmm. I can't wait till your next book comes out and we're going to talk about you sending me an autographed copy of the one. Oh, you of course. Have. Of course. And, and I am so appreciative. Thank you so much for talking. No, uh, no problem. Thank you so much. Enjoy that Florida weather. <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. This, this has been Nisi P of Nisi P Entertainment. Back to you in the studio.